Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Swiss Milk. I'm also an aerospace engineering PhD student and I would like to weigh in on the current status of lasers in Star Citizen. Lasers in Star Citizen operate differently than ballistics in Star Citizen and they don't overheat as quickly. Instead, they are balanced with spread. This is something that has become very apparent with the recent addition of the Arrowhead Sniper. If you see my last video, the Arrowhead Sniper has very, very poor performance and just ridiculous spread. Star Citizen is a space simulation and I understand that Chris Roberts has chosen to take a more fun cinematic approach to certain aspects of the game. This approach may have translated into making lasers spread over time and to make the Arrowhead Sniper have a spread on it. Remember, this is pre-alpha so everything is subject to change. The way lasers currently behave is something slightly disagreeable for simulation purposes, as in the physical world, lasers don't bend and they shouldn't spread. I actually work with a high powered laser to ignite fuels and I should be running a clip right now. This is what I do for my research and I feel like I'm in a pretty good position to comment on this situation in Star Citizen. Rather than balancing lasers by spreading over time, why don't we have something just as fun and more realistic? What you are seeing right now is an optical transmittance graph. The higher that line is, the more light will reach the laser's target from where it's generated. So if it's 100%, then 100% will reach the target. If it's less than 100%, the rest is reflected or absorbed. Currently, lasers overheat and eventually they will lock down. That's all good because lasers do get hot and even the lasers in my lab have water cooling in them. If I run my lasers too high or too long, they will overheat and eventually break, but the lasers never spread. So back to the chart. What happens if you run a laser through a lens which is required to get a highly energetic, highly focused laser. Even the really good optical surfaces are only 90 to 99%. So what happens to the rest of the laser energy? Well, it gets reflected around the room and that's what causes the flashing. The remaining energy gets absorbed into the optical material. This is important because the laser energy will heat up the optics and as they get hotter, their capacity to be invisible to light will worsen. If the optics get hot enough, the laser will start to deform the crystals in the glass and you won't have a clear optical surface anymore or the beginning transmittance. This is really interesting for Star Citizen because in the future while the glass they use might be 99.99% effective, the lasers they're using are much more powerful and that 0.01% will still be a force to be reckoned with. So lasers should go where they're pointed every time but if you fire the laser for a long period of time and you don't give it a chance to cool down, the energy reaching the target goes down and the damage it deals would go down over time just like it would in real life. And if you keep on firing, the optical surface would be destroyed. The weapon would break or the weapon would prevent you from firing it if it would damage itself as it currently does. So as the heat goes up, the damage should go down. This is true for lasers and interestingly, it isn't true for ballistics. When ballistics get too hot, the metal will start to deform in the barrel and the projectiles will destroy the barrel, but until that point, it should fire straight and true. However, when you fire a laser for too long, it's not a sudden loss of energy at your target, but a gradual decline until you permanently damage the laser optics. This is a really interesting interesting and distinct difference between laser weapons and ballistic weapons. So why don't we implement this? I think it would be a really cool feature and an accurate simulation of what would happen in the physical world. It could be fun to play with and I'm really curious to hear what all of you think about it. So do you think this is a good idea? Do you think it's a bad idea? What kind of lasers would you like to see in Star Citizen? Let me know in the comments and hopefully this discussion will become large enough by liking the video and sharing it that CIG will see it and perhaps implement it. No matter what happens or if CIG implements this, I think that the Arrowhead Sniper needs a serious performance rework and needs 100% accuracy because lasers should go where you point them unless they travel through an optical surface. And if the optical surface heats up, you're going to get less laser light to your target. I'm Swiss Milk and this has been a really fun video for me to make. If you want to check out the other types of videos I regularly make for my channel, you can click here to check out my channel. If you want to support me and my work simulating the aerodynamics of the ships on Star Citizen, check out my Patreon. And if you want to see my analysis of version 2.3 where I talk about the Arrowhead Sniper some more, click here. This is Swiss Milk, signing out. Peace.